LiveHipHopDaily.tv What's going on? Welcome back to The Plug. Feed the Cameras and McCary Michelle. We are back in the building. We are here with our dope, dope cast. Of the real industry that we're here tonight. We finna get up. Finna get up in all of their business. Everything. From A to B, A to Z. We got questions for them too? Oh yeah, we don't get into that. Alright, alright. Oh, okay. <laughs> you can't tell them all the secrets, Cal. God damn, that's later. So shout out to Kansas the Real Industry, check it in, man. The Real Industry is a new uh, reality TV show that is based out of here in Atlanta. We've got some amazing people on their cast. So I'm a, before we get into the interview, I'm going to let them all go down the row and introduce themselves and let the people know a little bit about what you do. Y'all can start anywhere. Super okay, well, since no somebody. one else wants to start, I'm Terry. I'm the entrepreneur of the show. I recently moved here to Atlanta to pursue my modeling career. But on top of that, I actually own a transportation company. And I also uh, own a group home. And I also... <laughs> I, I, can run you my whole, I can run you my whole pedigree, but I'll save a little bit for the show. But just know I'm, I gotta, I'm a jack of all trades. Just know that. <laughs> My name is Sunday. Everybody call me Sunshine the Diva. I'm from Toledo, Ohio, and I moved here a year ago from, uh, I moved here a year ago from Toledo, Ohio to Atlanta, and I got a clothing line called Diva's Diamonds. It's for all divas, all shapes, all sizes. Anybody like that bling? I got you. It's stylish, it's sophisticated. Everything a woman, a woman will want. I got you. What's up, this your girl Super D. I'm from New Orleans. I moved here about two years ago. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. I'm a model. And I'm just a super bad bitch. <laughs> Don't be shy now. What the hell? Go ahead. <laughs> Y'all shy. What up? Man? This is your boy Adrian from Macon, Georgia. I'm a celebrity wardrobe stylist for Love and Hip Hop, ATL, New York, Housewives of Atlanta. I have an online boutique called The Style Center. I have a fashion blog page. You guys can check it out at Styled by Spivey. And I'm hey. Tyrus. I'm the entertainer of this show. There's nobody that's going to give you more entertainment than me. Trust and believe that. I am a singer songwriter. Don't hate. He is I'm so a damn singer songwriter. Um, entertainer just all around entertainer like my life and what i go through like the everyday struggle dude like to be an artist i've opened up for the likes of k michelle tony tony tone drew hill um kelly price just to name a few and um y'all gonna see my grind and y'all gonna see me turn up a little bit how about tony braxton no huh tony braxton too i didn't say tony braxton oh no i didn't say tony braxton <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so I'm hoping for a plethora of artists. In his dreams. I'm not gonna name drop. <laughs> I'm, say two words. I'm not gonna name drop. Plethora. But um, people I'm know not me from BT Apollo Live. That's where I first got my start. And um, twice, um, first runner up. So that's how I got my start. So I'm hungry in this business. So that's why I'm here. Shout out to the place We got one more. Huh? We got one more. Okay, now that all my wonderful cast members are finished, it's my turn. I am Leah Renee. I am the socialite. The one that brought us all together. The one. She the only. <laughs> no, I'm from Kansas. <laughs> I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. Um, I am a certified chef. Um, I do weight loss programs and things of that nature to make sure that the woman is inspired to be fine. Um, I'm a model. I mean, we all over the place. So just tune in. You'll see it all. <laughs> So I don't know who wants to go first as exactly explaining because you know we have viewers from everywhere. So shout out everybody that's tuned in live hip TV. But uh, when you say the real industry, like that's really broad for a lot of people that don't know the Atlanta scene. So how do you guys think that you guys were brought together to make this show the real industry? I think um, the real industry is kind of like a play on words. Um, we come from various industries and so when you hear the real industry what is the real industry and so I think what correct me if I'm wrong what we want people to understand is there's so many different talents out there when it comes to the industry so it's like what is the industry and where do you fit in and so with us it's like we want you to see the grind from 
this industry, from that industry, from the entrepreneur, from the socialite, from the entertainer, from all of these people. So uh, that's what I feel like the real came from. Yeah. Right. I also feel like people can kind of get a little confused about, okay, the industry. Like everybody has, just because, oh, I have to speak up louder? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. Okay, so basically like she said, it's about the coming from the bottom up. You know what I'm saying? Nothing happens from the top down. It comes from the bottom up. And if you are at the top, sometimes you get knocked down to get, you know, get through life lessons. So basically we want to see, you know, that from the bottom up lifestyle that we all have lived, that we all have had to live from paycheck to paycheck and just really tap into our hustle and into our grind to just get to the next level. It doesn't come overnight, it's not easy. So when you say the real industry, don't think like, oh my God, you may slip with whoever to, to get in the industry. No, it's, it's about this is how you actually start to get in the industry. So. This is not like these are grinders on this on this stage right right here. So this really how it goes. And speaking of you saying that, that kind of plays into my next uh, question. How did you guys individually? I want you guys to answer this. How did you guys get involved with the industry in general? Okay. Well, for me, um, I'm a wardrobe stylist, a celebrity wardrobe stylist. Um, I got involved just by networking. Um, I started out working with Carly Rae from Love Hip Hop Atlanta. And it just, it went from there and it went so fast. And I just network. I use Instagram for a lot of things at night. For anybody that's out who try to network, I use it at night because during the day it's very, very busy. And if you're reaching out to somebody with millions of followers, it's hard for them to see what you got going on or even trying to get at them. So I wait till 2, 3 o'clock in the morning to send a DM or to tag somebody or anything like that. And that's how I got my start. So. Um, I'm going to say my start basically came from uh, at a young, very young age. I'm from a smaller town. It's not it's not necessarily a small town anymore. It's really, really growing. Statesboro, Georgia, how y'all doing? I know y'all tuned in. <laughs> but no, really, I've always kind of been, um, I'm not going to say a popular girl, but I've always been well known um, throughout my community. My family is pretty well known. And so I've always kind of been that, that homecoming cheerleader type of girl. So in high school, I took all of the drama classes that I, took, that I could. In my undergrad, I pursued a um, degree in mass communication. So I've always been on the microphone in front of somebody's camera, taking a picture. Everybody knows me at home from taking pictures on Facebook. Yes, I do. Um, but, and I just... Uh, and honestly, how I got to Atlanta with modeling, it's back then I was like losing my hair, losing my mind, pulling my hair out. But I kind of got scammed into the into the modeling game. <laughs> Basically, yeah, I got I got scammed into the modeling game. And now looking back on it, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I am appreciative of that lesson learned because it has got me here today on the radio and all of my fans and teardrops out there are looking at me and rooting for me so I'm glad I'm 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 that was a blessing in disguise so um for me I'm in so I'm in so many different industries and so in terms of culinary um I went to culinary school that's why I originally came here and I did a lot of plus size modeling when I just started my modeling career and then I was just like you know what these fine little bitches walking around, I could be her, you know? So um, I used my degree to learn how to eat certain foods to make myself fine. So I made myself fine, cause you know, when you look better, you feel better, tagline. <laughs> when you look better, you feel better. <laughs> better. So um, with that being said, I made myself feel confident with who I am. And so um, for me, it's like, when it comes to the modeling industry, it's about who you know. It's not about how much really coins you got. It's, it's, it's really not about that. And my personality, as much as people really try to hate, is so infectious, you know. I will talk to you if I don't know you down the street. So it's really about me just, that's why I feel like, you know, the socialite. I'm, I'm going to talk to Joe Smo on the corner because Joe Smo on the corner might be able to get me 15,000 coins in my pocket. So it's about the relationships and 
how you're impacting people's lives and so i think whenever i'm going somewhere i'm gonna talk to you just believe you're gonna get to know who i am awesome awesome for me i started off as a hairstylist and i'm still a hairstylist so by me having a fashion line called divas and diamonds i have the honor of being able to style people hair not only styling their hair i'm able to dress them in divas and diamonds have them from together from hair to clothes and a lot of people appreciate that. They come to me saying, can you do my hair this way, that way? And when I tell you, they could bring me a picture, I'm right there smack on it. Not only am I getting together from them, them, the hair, to add to it, the clothes is a plus. They walk out the door being able to feel like that special diva. The Divas and Diamonds, we've been branding it. We on social media heavy, so everybody know, everybody know me and my guy Tony Tuckwin. He's a promoter, so he also able to spread the word. So get your divas and diamonds, ladies. Right. Well, I'm also originally a hairstylist, but I started modeling about four years ago and party hosting as well. I posted parties for Floyd Mayweather in New Orleans, Young Greatness. I shot videos with Juvenile and different people from back home in New Orleans. Water. But I feel like people, I want to use this platform for people not to just look at models like they're whores or they sluts or whatever because that's not what it's all about. And a lot of people in the industry do look at us like that, but once you get in that field, if that's not what you're about, then that's just not what you're about. So you have to let other people, other young females, females in general see that just because you feel like you're sexy and you use your body to do whatever you want to do with it that doesn't make you a whore or whatever because if you feel like you fine and you pretty then like they always say use what you got to get what you want but it's how you present it to the world or to whoever you present it to i also have a lipstick line i own property in new orleans i'm more than just a model and a party host and a super bad bitch it comes more with that i'm writing a book and i'm also going to drop a little quick book maybe in the month or so but it's just a lot that comes with the whole industry thing besides how you present yourself to the world. All right. Um, so me, I will um, yep. say that I've been singing since I was like six years old, like singing out the womb or whatever. Um, and people always used to tell me like, boy, will you shut the hell up? Like, why are you always damn singing? Like, I used to go out in my closet and I always think I was some type of artist like Prince Usher. Donny Hathaway, I used to listen to Tony Braxton, Mariah Carey, Whitney, all these type of artists. I used to just go in my closet and just emulate different runs and things like that. But um, when I started to really grow and really hone on my skill of singing, um, I started doing jingles on the radio. And um, shout out to, to 97.9, WIBB, 92.3, Jim and George, DJ Smooth and Rose Woods. I got my start from that. I got my start from humbly um, humbling myself and going to people and asking them like how can you get me to the next level closed mouth don't get fed in this industry and you have to stay humble and you have to make sure that this industry know that this industry is small that people are going to talk so you got to handle yourself with pride dignity and respect and also you got to respect other people you can't come on no side you know sideline stuff you got to respect people and you got to be humble people love hungry people and um, I'm hungry. Nobody woke me up at seven o'clock in the morning to tell Tyrus to go audition for Apollo Live. Nobody woke me up in the morning and say, go do these jingles. And the next thing you know, they're calling me saying, hey Tyrus, we love what you did on the jingle. Let's see about getting, you, uh, open, uh, getting a chance to open up for Casey and JoJo. So like these things didn't come by from me sitting on my ass. It come, from, come by me continuing to, continuing to stay connected with God and not only that continue to grind in this music industry there's so many people in Atlanta that does music and that are that wants this dream but they don't have the grind they don't have the tenacity to really really push themselves and really really be serious in this industry so that's how a lot of us on this it on this is platform. speaking over there speaking so I had a question um as far as you guys together like how do you feel about you guys chemistry like you guys mesh well. <laughs> Y'all don't mesh well. Somebody don't get along with somebody, or how do you? We cook always with each other? Cuss, we always curse each other out, like hard <laughs> down, curse each, especially with this one right here, cause he is just too much. <laughs> no, oh, this no. One. 
Oh yeah, Nidia, yeah. these two. Lily and Tyrus is definitely the extra. Mitty, yeah. Missy, extra. Pity. Yeah. Tyrus, I try to take over Tyrus. He from, he, we from the same home team. So, they, but <laughs> I don't know. I try my best to help I him out. I think I'm the kind of rational one. Like I you're, think ratchet. I'm, you're the ratchet one. Uh, <laughs> but I have way more credentials. Than either one of you two, so it doesn't even oh, matter whether I'm retro or, or not. The pettiness is So it does not matter if you feel like I'm wretched or not. I have way more credentials than either of you two. So really anyway, know. as I were saying, <laughs> as I were saying. So audience, if you are confused about how they mesh together, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you I, I wasn't going to do that. <laughs> but speaking on that, would you guys see yourself, you know, collaborating on, you know, other ventures, you know, business kind of things together with each other? Like, does anybody I feel think, like that? Um, certain ones. We yeah, certain people. Certain people. All right. <laughs> certain people. Um, we could mesh in terms of more points. <laughs> well, well, I feel like as you turn into the show, you'll see the people that are really on their grind, that are really serious, that are really doing something in this industry, and not the ones that are just... Not the ones that are just shady. hating on the, the ones, ones that, that don't have this a lot of shady. Not, not the ones that are just sitting here, you know, causing fluff, you know, move out the way. Oh, but they, us, nah, but they got their stuff together, But right? no, everybody, yeah. no, 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 but everybody it's really actually... No real beef. It yeah, it's a lot of shade. I will say this: Tyrant is a real pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> but he can sing. Tyrant, so that is what gets you today. Why are you just lying? <laughs> 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 they said you in the bag, <laughs> baby. <laughs> they just doing you dirty today. Girl, I don't bite my tongue. He tells the truth. I don't bite my tongue. I tell the truth. But he don't even know what he's talking about. He tell the truth. About. I don't know what I'm talking about. Okay, now you, y'all, now, now you, you see. Y'all, 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 so y'all, just imagine, y'all, just imagine us in a group truth. chat or something like that. Oh, it oh, goes down in the DM. I'm leaving the group chat. Battery loaded, I'm motherfucker. Sorry, I got your back. Get it right there. I got your back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, so we're going to make this a little bit interesting before we get into the rest of the interview we are going to take a little short break like i said we do have two leak tracks uh we are going well three leak tracks today uh we're going to get into our second leak video and during the break we're going to do a little something special see they don't know nothing about this and people just tune in to live about daily.tv and y'all stay tuned in y'all know what this is about so it's a little segment it's called truth for truth so during the break, everybody that's in the studio, shout out our live studio audience, and I'll make it interesting. I'm even going to let them write questions. Everybody gets the chance to write down one question. Don't write your name on it. It could be about anything. It could be like, why do you like the color blue? Or do you like Super D's ass? It could be anything. Please don't write another. I got to you know, tell everybody in the audience. Everybody, uh, they come to here and they write these questions and they sound like Dr. Seuss. Please, no Dr. Seuss questions Please. because they, I just don't understand questions? them sometimes. They'd be like, have you ever been on stage with a brick? And I'd be like, who wrote this? <laughs> <laughs> really, the questions can be about anything. It's really just like a little fun thing that we do with all of our guests. So we're going to let everybody in the studio audience while we get into our break write down one question everybody's going to ball it up put it in a cup everybody on here gets a chance to pick one question randomly out of the cup you got to answer it honestly you cannot plead the fifth Ooh, well i'm real so i don't have a problem with that i love this because we normally don't even let the guests write questions but because of this chemistry that they have <laughs> I feel like it'll be more interesting if, if I let them girl. write a question down. So we're gonna. It's really <laughs> <just> you. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> God damn it! Hell yeah, Leah got her a cup of tea in here. We about to get the tea for real. And uh, we gonna be back live about Daily TV to plug your girl Karen Michelle, DJ Kalisma. We got the cast of the Real Industry in here. We'll be back. Keep it